All right, so what's going on everybody? Welcome to the vlog. <sighs> it's about like 30 degrees outside. It was snowing, ice, everything, a whole mixture of nine yards, whatever the fuck you guys want to call it. But there was everything outside the past two days. <sighs> but today, we finally get a chance to clean up the garage. I work now since I got the new business. I work all day. I get out at four. And then from four, I have a little bit of time to do what I gotta do before it gets too late. I go to sleep early as hell now. I used to go to sleep at two o'clock in the morning. I go to sleep by like 10 or 11 already. I've been going to sleep earlier past few days, like eight o'clock. But um, today, we actually got a chance to clean. So what I'm gonna do is, I went to Harbor Freight and I grabbed some trash bags. So we got a whole box of trash bags. I'm gonna clean them as much as I can here because this is actually looking like a mess again. And usually this happens when I do a few cars and then just stop coming over here for a while and stop cleaning up. So we're gonna clean up as much as we can, take as much as things out. We have a whole pile of 350Z parts, trans, um, just a whole bunch of everything in here. So we're gonna clean up as much as we can, organize as much as we can, and then if it's not too late, we're gonna start working on, on the TSX. Uh, I went ahead and I bought a quart of paint and a quart of primer and a quart of clear because, 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 we're gonna go ahead and try to paint the engine bay, the front bumper, and the wide body panels on the TSX ourselves. So that's gonna be an experiment that I'm gonna share with you guys. I've never painted before, so I've seen a lot of videos in the past few days and it doesn't seem that hard, but I am using a cheap gun. I've heard some mixed reviews on the Harbor Freight gun. I heard that the $15 gun is good for primer, and the more, a little bit more expensive gun, which is like, I think it's like $70-ish, I forgot how much I paid, is good for uh, base coin clear. So, with that being said, I bought the $15 gun, and I bought the $70 gun. So we're gonna use both guns, we're gonna experiment with them, see how it goes. Heard they're good guns for beginners. So we're gonna shoot with those two guns and see what happens. But that's not gonna be happening anytime soon because we're gonna clean out this whole entire garage, like I just said. We're gonna clean out this whole entire garage, after we clean out this whole entire garage, then we'll start test fitting the panels on the, on the TSX one more time, sanding down as much as we have to sand down, prepping it, and hopefully, the way that I'm looking at it, I think that the holes that I've made for the, the wide body might work with the kit that I want to use, the dress-up kit I want to use. So hopefully that does work. If that does not work, then we're gonna have to use different uh, holes and stuff like that for the kit. But as of right now, it looks like it's gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, go ahead and clean up the garage. Once the whole garage is cleaned up, then we'll get back into the vlog. All right, so change of plans. The garage is cleaned, cleaned it up completely. Um, I actually went ahead, cleaned off the front bumper. Now we gotta clean off the grill that's on the bottom. And remember I said I was gonna go ahead and test fit, well not test fit, um, put the white body on and pretty much get it ready for paint. Instead of doing that, since I'm so in like fiend of trying to paint something, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna prep the front bumper, sand it down, not completely down, but sand it down as much as we need, let's put it like that. Clean up the, the grill, sand that down, prep it as well. Um, we're gonna hit it with mineral spirit and then the wax and grease remover after we're completely done and primer it. Our goal today is to have it in primer. Maybe, maybe, maybe paint. So, <laughs> we're gonna test out the first gun, which is the $15 gun from Harbor Freight. That's gonna be the first gun we're gonna test out. But first, we gotta do, like I said, we're gonna prep this bumper up and get it ready to actually paint it. I cleaned it down. I'm gonna go ahead and get some sandpaper. I think I'm gonna use a 320 grit and sand it down completely to well, we have any, we have no defects on it anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna see if I can set up the camera somewhere while I do that. All right, so I forgot to set up the camera to record, but whew, I remember now, I'm a little sweaty. I did half the bumper so far and used pretty much a whole sheet, not a whole sheet, but it's supposed to go on a sanding block, but somebody took my sanding block as well. So, this is not gonna go well. I know, I have a feeling it's not gonna go well. But we're gonna try it anyways. If anything goes wrong, sand it down and redo it again. Just wanna give it a try anyways today. But sand it down about half the bumper. Took about a sheet, like I said. Um, I still have the other half to go. I'm gonna show you guys the bumper so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it feels really smooth. Um, I haven't hit it with the mineral spirit or the wax and grease mover just yet So that's gonna be in a little bit once I'm done cleaning up the other side I do have to go ahead and wet the floor I heard about that I have to do that just in case like all the dust and stuff like that Especially inside here. There's definitely a lot of dust and I do have to cover the TSX I'm waiting for my girl to come so she can help me cover the TSX everything else fuck it But let me show you guys the bumper and show you guys what I'm talking about All right, so you guys can tell from here you guys see all the gloss 
and then here is just like flat you can barely see any shine in it and if you do it's like really really minimal but sanded it down with 320 uh, dry sanding then we're gonna hit it with the uh, waxing gears remover and hopefully pray that this goes well I still haven't set up the gun or the air compressor or nothing yet so I have the line over there but nothing serious I do have to bring that table here so I can put the camera on it but like I said still have half a bumper to go got like when we sanded we take off all this like marks and stuff from the lip and right here all this um, if you see on this side you can see like right here there was some deep scratches so I sanded it down smooth and then right here there was some paint chipping as well sanded that down smooth as well so hopefully this doesn't go as bad as I'm expecting it to go but <sighs> we're gonna pray that this works out Love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Bumper's completely sanded down. Got it down to pretty much the base core, I guess that's what it's called. Oh, God knows what this is. Listen, this is going to be the first time. First time. I know there's going to be some imperfections right here and here, like on the tab and stuff like that. But you guys got to understand that's the things that are going to get covered when the bumper is on the car exactly. So I sanded down pretty much everything that you could see and the important parts of the bumper itself. Um, so. Now that we got this done, I'm going to go ahead and wipe, well blow it off, then wipe, I'm going to open the door so I can like vent out, but I'm going to wipe it down with mineral spirit, not mineral spirit, uh, yeah mineral spirit and then the wax and grease remover, turn on the heat so the garage can wor get warmed up while I set up the gun and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and do this, hopefully we can get this done before 12 o'clock. My love it grows with the memories like a symphony. You and I, we got history, yeah. Alright, so I was able to make my life easier and um, hang the bumper on the lift with uh, two pieces of wire at pretty much the height where I know I could spray comfortably. And, oh look, I just noticed this tab right here is messed up. Hey look, my finger that I messed up trying to put the the bumper on, the, on this side of the lift earlier today. But, anyways... Enough with the awkward talking. You guys know that I have a lot of energy always. But I hung it up on this side by the wires and stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead, hit it with the wax and grease remover. Not the mineral spray. I don't know why I wear I got mineral spray. Mineral spray is to clean the gun, supposedly. But wax and grease remover, wipe down the whole entire bumper. I'm going to set the camera up somewhere over here. There is a huge mess on that table. That's the only thing I didn't clean up in this garage. So I'm going to set up my table over there where I have everything being prepped. And like this, actually, the heater can warm up the bumper as well while I set everything up with the gun and, and all that. I don't know if we're going to spray, uh, spray the base going clear today, but I definitely know that we're going to spray the primer for sure because I can't go to sleep without spraying the primer. I have to spray something. So, bumper's on. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down with, with the wax and grease remover and then set up the gun while the, everything else gets heated inside.
about that. Hopefully the second coat covers up any of the breaks that I don't see at the moment. But let's see what happens. So it's 15 minutes, we're gonna let this drive 15 minutes. Now that I got a little bit of the technique down pack, I'm sorry for all your pain, this might be a 50 ass video for you guys. But let's see what happens. All right, so I didn't record a lot of the steps doing this because I wanted to get it done before at least 12 o'clock, which is 12.30 now and it's, the bumper's still drying. Um, it wasn't as hard as I thought. When I'm gonna, put the, I'm gonna put the whole video of me spraying it. Well, I did put the whole video of me spraying it, so, <laughs> because when I edit this, it's gonna be like that. But, okay, back to what I was saying. Um, it wasn't as hard as I thought at the beginning when I was when I did begin spraying it. Um, I did have a little bit too much air, so before it even hit, well, it would hit and dry right away. So I was able to control it a little bit more. I put a little bit more paint coming out of it because the paint was actually closed almost all the way. So I put a little bit more fluid out. Um, got it that when I sprayed, it would spray even on. It took, it took a little bit, it took a little bit to get it used to. I actually tried spraying on a piece of paper like they showed on the internet, but it didn't work out as good. So it, after spraying it a few times, I realized it was the issue and I fixed it. So now, final product, I'm not gonna lie, it came out really good. It came out way better than I expected. Way, way better than I expected. Um, Looking at it, there's probably like a little, I left a little dust back there, but uh, I'll show you guys the whole bumper one once I'm done. And I did leave like one scuff that I didn't realize that was actually gonna be so noticeable, but it's noticeable as hell. But it's primer. There's gonna be a little bit of orange peel because the primer does get sanded down a little bit. So this will be sanded down hopefully tomorrow and probably added to another video of me spraying it red. I just wanted to give you guys like a little, pretty much overlook for those of you guys that wanna paint something cheap and it's like your first time you want to learn something I do recommend the gun because you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on something that you just want to fuck around and fuck around with and play with on your own stuff that gun as YouTube said because I did watch videos on YouTube on it um, it does spray primer really really good like the primer is sprayed really 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 good um, now paint itself like base coat and clear don't know about that, that's why I have the other gun. So I'm not gonna risk it and try to spray um, base coat with that. I'm gonna use the other gun whenever I try to use, whenever I spray the base coat. But enough of me talking, I'm gonna show you guys the bumper and then I'll go back to talking again. You guys could barely see anything on it, but the bumper, really clean. Um, edges, like I said, this is where the bumper is gonna clip in anyway. So there might be a little bit of flaws. You might see like some paint defects. I don't see anything. On the camera barely shows anything, but nothing serious. Just I still I leave I did leave the holes for the lip because I don't know yet if I'm gonna be running the lip the A spec lip or I'm gonna be running the Euro R lip. So as of right now, we're leaving the holes. But I want to take everything off the bumper just for a simple fact that whatever I decide to make my mind to, it didn't have no marks left on it. So I stripped the bumper completely before I sprayed it. Um, I am gonna be having no center grill part because of the intercooler, but no matter what came out really good like there's no tiger stripes I don't even think primer like does tiger stripes but just in case there is none um, this is a scuff that I did say that I left and no matter what it's gonna be covered with the fog light cover itself unless my intercooler probably has to come out through there which is a bummer because that's not what I wanted that's the whole reason why I wanted the 06 bumper because I wanted the 06 fog lights on the car but like I was saying Laid on pretty darn good, like barely in defects. $15 gun did an amazing job with the primer for a, a dirty garage paint job. I don't know what's going on with this camera, but it's not focusing. For a dirty garage paint job, we cleaned it up and sprayed some water on the floor just to like collect the dust and stuff like that. But it came out really good. Now, back to talking a little bit more about the car. Um, like I said, this is gonna sit overnight. I'll probably come check it out in the morning and probably add it to the vlog or probably not even add that to the vlog either. But I'm, I might just make another a second video of me trying to spray this red, which might be the epic fail of the epic fail because I know it's gonna be terrible. Base coat is always the hardest part, I heard, and spraying my own personal bumper for the first time is gonna be a headache. And a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, you're spending all this money on your car, why are you spraying it yourself? Um, it's easy. Let's put it this way, it's easy for you to go ahead and pay somebody to get the job done and not 
like value yourself or try to value yourself on your own build. If you can't respect the fact that I'm trying to do my car myself, then you shouldn't like be in the car game. Uh, I could go go ahead and pay four grand, five grand, get the whole car resprayed, get the engine bay done, get everything done perfectly fine. I did pay to get the, the engine bay shaved, but that was because I had no time to do it. Now, there's still some things I want to touch up on the engine bay, which is what I'm gonna do before Friday, where I decide to spray the engine bay and the rest of the white body parts. But like I said, there, I, I wanted to like give myself the chance of me being able to spray the parts that need to get sprayed on my car for the first time and if anything comes wrong or anything goes wrong I could be like okay yeah I did it myself that's why it looks like that if you can't respect the fact that I do the work my own work on my cars like I, I don't know what to tell you but it's my car spend I've spent grands and grands on wheels God knows how much I spent on the motor and whatever yeah it's a whole bunch of money I'm spending on the car and I want to do the paint job half ass pretty much like everybody's gonna say um, yeah, like, you, you do what you want with your cars. Like, I don't care how much I spend on this car, right? This car is mine. This car is not going anywhere. I don't even have a title to this car. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie. I have no title to this car. I got rid of the title when I first got it because I said I was never going to get rid of it. But, um, back to the subject on the car. Wide body and engine bay should be done, hopefully, Friday. If not Friday, then sometime in the weekend. But I have a shit ton of work this weekend to do on headliners. So let's see what happens. And Angel wasn't in the shop today for me to go pick up the, the bolts. That's still another reason why I didn't do the wide body part today because I didn't have the, the exact bolts that I wanted to put it on. No, I'm not gonna be running downstar bolts. No, I'm gonna be, not gonna be running NPC bolts. Uh, I'm gonna, I wanna do things a little bit different. I might use the dress up kit and use the washers itself with the hex nut and stuff like that, I don't know. Um, I, wanna, I wanna do different things on the car. I don't want it to be basic like everybody else. So back to the topic on the car again. White body stuff like that is gonna be moved to probably Friday or during sometimes during the weekend. This bumper should be painted hopefully tomorrow. Pray to God that tomorrow I have a chance to paint it. Now, after all these panels are done, my mounts are already here and my throttle bottle should be here as well. Still need injectors and intake manifold to be able to pretty much have my swap complete. Oh, and my clutch. That's pretty much all I'm waiting for to have my swap complete. I don't have to run a diff on the car but an LSD diff, but I'm thinking about doing it just for some fact that when I had it out the first time, I was spinning way too much, and now to add on the power that I wanna add, I'm gonna spin a lot more. So might as well just throw the diff on now and have it for when I wanna do the future engine build. All right, so enough of me talking. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, let this drive a little bit more, throw it, make a few like cinematic shots of it. Um, show you guys exactly, let me show you guys exactly what paint I'm using. Cause I don't want you guys to think this is some expensive ass paint. I swear to God, I paid about like $180 for like these filters, three cups, three mixing cups. Uh, the paint's actually shop line paint. I got, what is this, a quart? Yeah, one quart of, what is it, uh, R81 red. Um, one quart of the polyurethane clear coat. Uh, let's see. One quart of reducer. There's one quarter primer, but the primer's all full of primer itself. Um, what we got here? One half pint of hardener, polyurethane hardener, and primer hardener. It, I, honestly, it was $180 for all that, and then I spent about like $200 on paint guns and dumb stuff that I needed, like water traps for the for the compressor. So honestly, it's, it's cheaper than going going out and spending God knows how much money just to get your engine bay painted. So, I'm not gonna lie, if you want, oh, alarm went off. That means that the bumper should be dry. But, go ahead, try it yourself. If you mess up, don't give up. Just keep trying, keep going at it. But, let me show you guys the bumper and some cinematics, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.
forget to like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.